Cool. So basically, this was just about having strong poses. That's where really where it starts. So I'm going to show you guys some of my work. Um, the posing, essentially. So this is my first blocking pass. And you can see all the poses are there, essentially. And we take it to this. Pretty simple, but it wouldn't have happened if I didn't spend time on the poses, thought about the fingers. And one thing I noticed when blocking that shot, you can see here, look at our hand and the silhouette. It's almost, there's no gap there. So things like that. You, you know, you make a bigger gap. I could have even brought it higher. Yeah. So really, it's your job. Even if the layout guy maybe didn't compose it very nicely, it's your job to move the camera, to set up the characters that's best appealing. And her hand is on the third, right? That's where I want the audience to look. Cool. So yeah, no, take ownership of, you know, if the layout's not exactly what it could be, it's up to you to, to make it the best it can. You're perfect! You're perfect! So You're this blocking perfect. is a little more in-depth in that You're I build perfect. the anticipation into the You're pose perfect. and the overshoot. You're it's just the way You're this shot perfect. so happened to be. You're perfect. But again, You're it's kind of, I, I did start off with two poses. It was this one perfect. and this one. So it jumped between and then I built the anticipation in a blocking pose, which worked You're for this perfect. shot. And then you're you take it to perfect. final. You're and a lot of times the you're animators perfect. too also feel like, oh, you're there might perfect. be a freeze where the character you're actually perfect. freezes in cartoon. But the nice thing about it is you can add an eye dart or the hair just keeps it alive. So don't be afraid to come to a hold. But you got to have something still moving on screen. Just a couple more for you guys. This one was an interesting blocking just because this was straight ahead, whereas the other ones were strictly pose to pose. This one's kind of a straight ahead animation where I don't really know exactly where I'm starting and where, where I'm finishing. So I go straight ahead on fours. I'm just blocking fluently. And this is the result. So there's no way you can plan for that. So it really is just. Well, with this one too, because the camera's so close, I had a master shot, you know, I thought, well, this guy could move around. And yeah, it's just blocking on fours very loosely, you know, committing to any one idea. And then you add a camera. And the final... Just move out, out a little bit. But it all starts with blocking, essentially. You know, you don't have strong poses. Or if it's not composed right, you almost should go forward. <laughs> and one last one for you guys. This one I did about a week ago or two. And you'll see the ball. Ladies and gentlemen! Ladies and gentlemen! So Ladies it was really important gentlemen. just to get Ladies that COG moving. Ladies and, and the camera gentlemen! Moving. And that was Ladies it. And, and I was gentlemen. actually pretty happy with this. Ladies and once gentlemen. I spent time on the first pose, Ladies this pose, you know, I spent some time just kind of making them pretty. I spent about Ladies five minutes gentlemen. just with the COG Ladies moving it. So I didn't spend a lot of time. Ladies but that gentlemen. taught me, or that showed me Ladies exactly, is he moving right? Is he framed nicely gentlemen. at the end of the shot? So he's still almost framed on the third, but still giving more space to that one. This Ladies one was important to get the COG moving right. Ladies and gentlemen! And Ladies this and gentlemen! All wouldn't have been possible if the COG Ladies didn't move right gentlemen. with the camera. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen! Um, <laughs> Hazel runs oh, and switch like bodies, like yeah. So, <laughs> it's just important for you guys to know this was straight, straight ahead as well, with them kind of pose to pose on all the other things. But it was straight ahead on getting the fluid mo uh, the fluid motion of seven. Ladies and gentlemen. Cool. I 
Yeah, so basically, it's it's all about posing. So in this shot, you know, I'm sure we can you know, I spent time just making sure her fingers are not symmetrical on both hands anyways, her eyes are slightly off. You know, these are things that most new animators don't take time. You know, I see a lot of boogly eyes, blinks, they're all the same. Um, eyebrows, they're all the same shape. So just a bit of offset makes it so much more appealing. Take time to pose the fingers. And this is the shot we're gonna be going into Maya with. I'm sure we can find a totally charming outfit. I'm sure we can find a totally- so yeah. In my, I'm going to show you guys just lavender. Cool. So we'll stop the recording for now. Oh. Uh, it's 